This presentation is the first in a series on individual and squad drill. We will first discuss the purpose of drill and then learn how to drill. Drill is used to move a unit from one place to another in an orderly manner. We use simple formations from which we can easily deploy into combat formations. We learn discipline by responding instantly and habitually to precision commands. As young leaders, we learn to give commands confidently and ensure they are obeyed. We use two types of commands in drill. The first is a preparatory command. This command is used by the commander, or whoever is in charge, to alert us that we are going to do something. The second command, the command of execution, tells us to perform whatever we were just alerted to do. The size of the unit dictates the wording of the preparatory command. In this presentation, the preparatory command is the word squad, since the squad is the unit we are discussing. The wording of the command of execution varies according to the movement performed. The basic military position is the position of attention. The preparatory command to come to attention is squad. The command of execution is attention. To come to the position of attention, bring your left heel against your right heel, feet forming a 45 degree angle with your heels on the same line and touching. Keep your legs straight but not stiff at the knees. Keep your hips and shoulders level and your chest elevated. Your arms hang naturally at your sides with your thumbs along the seams of your trousers, your palms face inward, and your fingers are together in their natural curl. Keep your head and body erect. Your eyes are looking directly to the front and your mouth is closed. Pull your chin in slightly. Do not talk and do not move. This position indicates that you are alert and ready to respond to orders. Now let's talk about four positions of rest. The first is parade rest. The preparatory command is parade. parade. The command of execution is rest. rest. This command is executed in one count. At the command of execution, keeping your right foot in place, move your left foot smartly 12 inches to the left. Keep both legs straight and distribute your weight equally on both feet. At the same time, join your hands behind your back. Put your right hand inside your left with your right hand loosely gripping your left thumb. Keep your fingers together and straight and your palms to the rear. Your head and eyes remain in the same position. Do not move and do not talk. The second position of rest we will discuss is at ease. In this position, the preparatory command and the command of execution are the same. At ease. At ease. When you receive this command, keep your right foot in place. You may move about, but you must not talk. You may also receive this command, at ease, when you are not in ranks. When you receive the command, continue what you are doing, but do not talk. When you are called to attention from the position of at ease, come to parade rest on the preparatory command, squad. squad. Then, on the command of execution, attention, come to attention. The third position of rest is rest. The command is rest. rest. Upon receiving the command, leave your right foot in place. You may talk in a conversational tone and move about. The fourth position of rest is fall out. At the command, leave your position in ranks. Remain nearby so that when fall in is given, you can return to your place in ranks and come to attention. Now, let's discuss facing movements. There are three facing movements. They are right, left, and about face. The preparatory command is the direction you are to face. 
the command of execution is face. Let's start with right face. Right face is a two count movement. You will receive the command right face. Right. Hey. Upon the command of execution on count one, keep your hands and arms at the position of attention. Shift your weight to the right heel. Pivot 90 degrees to the right on your right heel and left toe. Keep your left leg straight, but not stiff. Then, on count two, move your left foot smartly beside the right. Heels touching with the toes of the feet forming a 45 degree angle. Remain standing at the position of attention. Make sure that your thumbs remain along the seams of your trousers throughout this entire movement. Left face is just the opposite of right face. When given the command, on count one, keep your hands and arms at the position of attention and shift your weight to the left heel. Turn 90 degrees to the left on your left heel and right toe, keeping the right leg straight but not stiff. On count two, place the right foot smartly next to the left, heels touching and the toes of both feet forming a 45 degree angle. Remain standing at the position of attention. About face is also a two count movement. At the preparatory command about, shift your weight to the left leg without any noticeable movement. At the command of execution and on count one, move your right toe half a foot length behind and slightly to the right of your left heel. Do not change the position of your left foot and keep most of your weight on your left heel. On the second count, keeping your arms and hands at the position of attention, turn 180 degrees to the right about. The turn is made on the heel of the left foot and the ball of the right foot. If your right toe was properly placed on count one, your feet will be at a 45 degree angle with the heels touching when you complete the turn. The next command we will learn is the hand salute. The preparatory command is hand, and the command of execution is salute. When the command is given, hand salute. raise your right hand smartly and in the most direct manner until the tip of your forefinger touches the lower part of your headdress above and slightly to the right of your right eye. Keep your thumb and fingers straight and touching each other. You should be able to see your entire palm out of the corner of your right eye when looking straight ahead. Your upper arm should be parallel to the deck and your forearm at a 45 degree angle. Your hand and wrist should be straight, a continuation of the line made by your forearm. Do not incline your head toward your hand. We use the command to to return to the position of attention from hand salute. At the command two, Ready, two, return your hand smartly to its proper position at your side. Thus far we have discussed the purpose of drill and some individual drill maneuvers. We've talked about the position of attention, the four positions of rest, the facing movements, and the hand salute. In the next presentation, 